All right, guys, they're playing Gwen top lane in the new patch, and I'm going to showcase you guys exactly on how you can carry with Gwen top, specifically also into a Fiora this game, so that's going to be interesting. So yeah, in short, we got a Conqueror this game, we got Presence, Alacrity, a Last Dance, Second Wind, and then we also have on the Flinching with a Doran's Ring. Now, very importantly, we have Ignite with TP this game, because Ignite allows me to um cut down the healing from fiora plus it allows me to play aggressive and tp allows me to get back to lane and play the macro part of the game we don't need flash from gwen either so keep that in mind guys that's q so what you need to know about gwen uh just to make it clear to you guys gwen is Kind of a similar champion like Kale, except you can play more aggressive. But the, the the way how she's being played, it's very similar. Like the Gwen's early game is not exactly the best. However, it's it's okay. It's just acceptable. You can win a lot of lanes in the early game. But you're playing Gwen mostly for the mid late game. I'm going to show you why. Of course, does not change the fact that we can win lane. I'm going to showcase you guys that too. It's just that you have to be very... Um, if you have the proper wave management with Gwen, you should be okay during lane phase. You should be able to snowball it. So it kind of comes down to like how well you play out the lane phase, the, the decisions you make and all that stuff. We're going to be freezing the wave here. There you go. Hey, unsupported. Thank you for the sub prime, man. Welcome to the sub family, dude. Thank you so much. So the way how trading works with Gwen is actually very straightforward. You try and get the wave into the right spot where you can play it safely, but also can play it aggressively. Now, every single time that your opponent's going to be walking up for a CS, pretty standard, pretty simple. You want to try and hit the center on the queue right as they try and farm. Because that way they won't be able to counter your your tra your trade, right? So that's what we're aiming for. And then at the same time, what you also want to be looking at is stacking waves. So the bigger you can make a wave, the easier you can trade. And that way you can make Gwen a very playable character in the early game. Let me show you what I mean here. So we have the wave into the right spot. As you can see, we have an enormous wave that we can work with. Actually... I'm going to go up here. Now we lost the stacks. So now we've got to be careful. There you go. Nessus could have technically gone for the jungle camp. He could have done it. There you go. We've been uh, sharing some of the XP, but it's not bad. Definitely not. So. To make Gwen work... You want to go with a Dark Seal. And then you also want to be going with um, either Riftmaker or you want to be going with the uh, Nash's Tooth. Now, typically, what I encourage you to do most of the time, Nash's Tooth gives you a lot of damage, like lot, lots of AP and attack speed, which are both really good, and the on hit is nice. But what I always encourage you to do, even though the build path is super bad, in my opinion, I don't like it at all. Um, uh, like Riftmaker is actually consistently the best option out there um, out of the two if you're deciding to rush one. Riftmaker is just pretty solid item once you get it. Again, I'm not a huge fan of the um, of the build path, but it does the job. It's just hard to get this item sometimes. So try and get it if you can. Okay, so now we're obviously not going to be looking for any trades. I cannot EQ in for whatever reason because the wave, again, like it's now in his favor, right? The wave is too massive, so I'm completely avoiding trades for now. We're not losing any last hits because the wave is so stacked up that we're not losing anything. So we can just, you know, chill around, just wait. Don't have to do much. I will go for that trade because, as you can see, I want it. Because the wave was not in his favor here. Even if I went for a trade, I would not take any damage from the wave. 
Hopefully we can get enough last hits. <laughs> I lost that one. Ah, that one too. Unfortunate. It is what it is. We got most of it, so... Now we have these three. Let's see if we can start playing aggro with it. I will place a board down so we can see Jarvan. There we go. Nice trade. Always trade when you have four stacks. If your four stacks are not there, be very careful. Okay? It's the most important thing. Four stacks will pro provide you the maximum damage you can do. If you play around zero stacks or one or two stacks, your opponent can easily walk up and try and trade you. Hmm. And just like that. So I did a little tiny secret, but I, I don't really want to call it a secret. It's something that a lot of people know, but it's also a half of the people who don't know about this. If you ever, okay, and remember my words every single time, you're going to see a Fiora. If he is going to press R, walk to the wall directly, okay? Instantly. No matter, no matter what, no matter what. If you get altered by Fiora, that only means one thing. They will... All in you. They will. He's pressing R for one reason only. Okay. So yeah, again, remember my words. You see if your ultimate walk away to a wall. It doesn't matter which wall, choose one. Can be here, can be here, can be there. It doesn't matter. Choose one. Because if you stick to a wall, like let's say you're standing right here, and then Fiora's gonna, you know, she's got the R active. She needs to hit this cent like this right side of the ultimate. And if you're standing up here, she will never be able to hit it. Okay, it, it's something super crucial. If she hits that one, you might lose the one if you want completely. But that's how you counter Fiora's ultimate. You gotta react very quickly. That's all that. That's all that matters. Yeah, now we typically win, as you can see. Unfortunately, getting creep blocked, but yeah. <laughs> the game was like, nah, just let him live. You know, just let him live. It's alright. <laughs> Unfortunately, wow. Okay. We're nine minutes in the game. And bot lane lost the tower already. That's mind blowing. I hope I'm not going to face off bot lane right now. I hope I don't. But I'm scared that I probably will. Again, I'm ho I hope I'm wrong here. I hope that Caitlyn's going to run bot lane. I hope she's not going to walk top lane. That would be super sad. <clears throat> How did that happen? Oh no, they're lane swapping. Oh no. I'm going to face off a of super fat bot lane. Yep. It is what it is. <laughs> I hate this so much. When a ball lane loses tower like 9 minutes in and I'm playing against two people. I need help here. Oh man, I hate this so much. I went Jarvan's top lane. I'm basically 1 versus 3. Oh no. Did... I hate this. Like I, 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 I can't describe this feeling. Like when, when this happens, like it's you're completely powerless. Because bot lane is it's it's not just one versus two, but it, they they got like three kills to assist, two kills to three assists. These guys are super super mega fed man. He already has almost two items. I don't even have my first item yet. I just need help here, man. These guys need to go down. A sensory for Nasus. I wonder how that's going to work out. Shut down. 
Nice. I am so happy that I got a jungler this game. <laughs> Otherwise, I don't know what I would have done. I probably have lost my tower at that point. Let's shove this in. I am so happy that I have a jungle in this game. I truly do. Look at look at this now. I'm actually able to play lane again. Maybe not for too long, but at least I'm able to shove waves. Hopefully get like plates or whatever. We need to pull through the early game to carry this game. Nice. I've got my item. This is huge. Let's go back here. Unfortunately, I'm getting ganked once again. Okay. Yep. Here we go. Assists. I am so thankful that we have a jungler this game. Like I truly do, man. I don't. I. I. Let me tell you again. I don't. I don't know what I would have done without my jungler. Because if Balin is losing this hard in this game, I don't see myself one versus doing this. Like I don't. I'll just end up getting wrecked. Literally. I think we can probably get the uh nah we can't it's not gonna work i was thinking about getting the um i was thinking about getting the tower too but they've already spawned uh let's go for i need to go steel caps like i have to i have no choice at all Oh, they're going mid lane. Okay. Okay. Actually, that's not so bad. I hope that we're going to get uh, Yumi to stick with me this game. I hope. That would be awesome. Again, like this game is a huge, huge, huge scaling game. Let me tell you that. We got a Vladimir mid lane, a Gwen top lane, and a Yumi support. It's the best. We, we've got the best late game you can get. It can't get any better than this. Let's get the next one coming wave two. Wait, gotta hurry up for the wave. Let's get this stuff. Okay. I wanna check if there's a blue available. Nah, there's not. Okay. That's no problem. We definitely can't approach him now, because he's obviously standing like under tower. <clears throat> we just stay up here. We play it slowly. I don't know where... Oh, Caitlyn's actually in mid. Oh, I'm still getting caught up by this. I don't... I wonder where the ward actually was, because I don't think I saw it. I don't think he's gonna walk up. No. 
There might be a Lux up here. I don't know. Again, like we just have to do this for a while. Seems like he's not walking up. Drake spawns in 30. Twenty seconds. Let's push this out. I, uh, to be honest, I think that Drake is going to be kind of hard to do, but we'll give it a try. But it's definitely going to be, uh, it's going to be a challenge. Yone does not play with TP this game. That's huge to know. We need to fight this. This has to be a team fight. Because uh, Yone is top side. Yeah, we did lose to Drake, but I'm fine with it. I don't care. Some camps. And if you take that camp there. Nice. And then afterwards we go back here. Two point nine gig gold. I think I might go for a TP up here. Maybe. Hmm. I should have bought the uh, Seeker's Arm Guard. Flank has failed. It's okay though. I was, um, I, I don't know. I want to go Magi, but it really depends. I need to get, um... Ah, sad, sad, sad. Really sad. Yeah, should have had the uh, Seeker Sound card. There we go. We'll get next wave. We'll probably get the jungle camp. I don't know. The Jarfin is definitely pathing top lane. I saw him coming from mid lane, so he will show here. Ah, seems like Fiora's also up there. Uh, Fiora has been farming my teammates ever since. So we gotta be careful about him too. Well, yeah, I'm gonna go for the Codex, not for the Seeker's Armor Guard. Just want to be able to spam my QE more, which helps me, like, snowballing the game. Phew, you know what truly sucks? I just have to mention it, because it is... We were beating Fiora, they lane swap. Now even Fiora is, like, 7 kills. Like, I don't know. Fiora was actually previously losing against me. And then she just ro like rotates ball lane and gets like seven kills like that. It's nothing that can get more unfortunate than this, in my opinion. I don't know what to say. I don't know what to tell you either. <laughs> you can call this game a win. I'm gonna be rolling this game. <laughs> Yeah, 
And we go tower. Maybe there's also some jungle camps we can take. I'm gonna give it a try. He's kind of run. Glad he's doing that, actually. Uh, let's go for a rabbit and straight away. Rabbit is such a good time. I'm just going to instantly buy rabbit. I don't care if I don't have Zonia yet. We'll get that later. We'll get the. We'll, we'll be getting Zonia now. Again, like they're getting Drake for free, and it actually it's it's kind of upsetting, but yeah, another Drake for them, terrible. Well, they're going for a fight. I'm chilling here. I love Gwen late game. Truly I do. I need Zonia though. Hmm, let's get it. I hope they can try and delay the, the fight for me, but I don't think they will. I very much doubt it. Oh, lots of ultimates. Well, yeah, that's not what I was hoping was going to happen. I just wanted to have my team delay the fight. I wonder if I can catch him too. I need to... Um, it would be really good to have a Yumi uh, on me, actually. I think I'm gonna... I don't think I'm gonna get Majai at all. Even though I got the choice, because I'm already um, very close to full build. There we go. And we got it. Well, yeah, we're basically almost full build. I think I'm going to go for AP pot, maybe. Well, there you go. Hmm. That Nessus build is so bad. Like, I don't know. Every quick blade's Nessus. What? <laughs> Nessus build is terrible. I was like wondering, why is Nessus losing to a Fiora right now, but a jungle Ness should be winning. But yeah, that pretty much explains the situation. <clears throat> 
Where are these people going? Paul? What? What? I'm trolling super hard, it's insane. Like... <laughs> I'm trolling so hard. I, <laughs> I literally made her live. <laughs> Whoops. Oh, flooding me, I'm pinging, flooding me there. I hope he's gonna do it. Okay, this game is difficult because of fear splitting all day. <laughs> what a battle. Good. <laughs> I am farming champions. For real though, I'm I'm literally farming champions. On Caitlyn. I'm trolling again. How did I do that? <laughs> Whew. I uh, nearly choked the game because I accidentally didn't move with my E, so she got to live out of this. <laughs> anyway, this is Gwen Top. Thanks so much for watching today's very nice 1v9. And I'll see you next time. Peace.